The goal of this activity is to integrate robotics research from the Universities of Manchester, the University of Glasgow and the University of West of England to showcase the state of the art in critical infrastructure robotic inspection, maintenance and repair tasks. This is the culmination of a six month feasibility activity to demonstrate how cyber physical mission environments could be used to streamline the overall systems integration process. A team of over 20 researchers from the three universities have been collaborating virtually on a weekly basis before coming together for a week-long in-person integration sprint here at the Rayco Labs in Cumbria. We have brought together a team of 20 researchers um, with complementary skills in robotics, AI, uh, digital twinning, human-robot interaction and communication technology. And this team has done a brilliant job in implementing three demonstrations. The first demonstration is a symbiotic multi-robot fleet for infrastructure maintenance and repair. The second demonstration is a um, long distance teleoperation between the Reiko labs in Whitehaven and the lab in Glasgow. And the third demonstration is a sort and segregation station for contaminated waste. When we started planning for the research sprint months in advance before the actual week, we performed remote meetings in which we used uh, tools to collaborate and connect with each other, with each teams and institutions. And we used this to plan our demonstrations, plan what we wanted to achieve in this week that we carried over into the actual research sprint week. So because we have virtual collaborators, we use the tools and the relationships that we gained through these remote sprints into something that could be a template for a hybrid um, remote uh, setup. So we have in-person participants and then we have hybrid uh, virtual participants. And now we, we use this to somehow be productive for each team. So being here is all about the process and that's a process that's been in the making for months. With a multi-institution team and in full appreciation of the breadth and depth, skill sets and experience of researchers at all stages of their academic careers, it's been a pleasant and rewarding knowledge exchange and valuable networking experience for us all, especially after two years of COVID restrictions. It's been refreshing to meet the Zoom faces at last. It sounds a cliche, but there's no substitute for sharing our research successes in person. Today's successes are tomorrow's publications this has been a truly exciting and worthwhile event for us all. So it's been great having different people come together from different places, bringing their skills to collaborate together. And it's been good seeing how much we can achieve within a week. Reiko One is an incubator facility um, sponsored by the Sellafield, by the National Nuclear Laboratory, by UKA's RACE and also the University of Manchester. It's a collaborative space where people can come together and work in this joint space, demonstrating technology and engaging with the local supply chain. We're very happy to welcome the researchers this week to take part and participate in this research sprint. It has been a fantastic opportunity, especially on this final demonstration day, to have members of um, the nuclear industry come in and support and engage with the researchers and really understand what it is that they're bringing see the value in the technology and these demonstrations and how these might come out onto site in the future. This activity has been a fantastic success on many levels. From a technical perspective we've demonstrated the state of the art in critical asset inspection technologies and there are up to 10 publications that are going to come out of this work. We've established a strong and vibrant community of researchers at all levels and from this new collaboration opportunities are already emerging. Finally, the approach we've taken of using cyber-physical mission environments to streamline the final system, systems integration challenge is one that we're looking to adopt in many projects in the future.